Hi, scholars. This is Miss C, and it is reading time. We are going to practice our fluency throughout this lesson. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking cap on. Ready? We have two new learning targets for today. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can identify the correct homophone, need or need, based on meaning and context. The second learning target says, I can read a text fluently, smoothly with expression and meaning, rereading and self-correcting when necessary. Transition song. Can you tell the difference, the difference, the difference? Can you tell the difference when two words sound the same? Woodwork. I'm going to read a sentence aloud. There are two words in this sentence that sound exactly the same. Listen carefully for those words. Before the baker can knead the bread, he will need to add the yeast. Hmm. What words did you hear that sound exactly the same? If you guess need and need, you were correct. These are called homophones. We will look at these words today and notice how they have the same sound but different spellings. What does this need mean? Need spelled K-N-E-A-D is referring to squeezing dough with your hands before baking it. What does this need mean? Need spelled N-E-E-D means to require something important. Let's read a sentence and try to figure out which need belongs in the blank. Here we go. I think I blank to see the doctor. The recipe says to blank the pizza dough before stretching it. Let's take a look at the first blank. It seems to be about something important about health. Which need fits best here? If you said need, N-E-E-D, you were correct. This next blank is about doing something to the pizza dough. Which need makes the most sense here? If you thought K-N-E-A-D, you were right. Let's reread this sentence together with fluency. Here we go. I think I need to see the doctor. The recipe says to knead the pizza dough before stretching it. Nice work with those homophones. Transition song. Can you read this fluently, smoothly, with expression, please? Can you read it smoothly, with expression, and with meaning? Fluency. Now. We will practice reading with fluency using our decodable reader, Animals Big and Small. Let's go. There are numerous animals living on the earth. So numerous, it would be ridiculous to try to count them all. Some of the animals are very small. Some are enormous. And some are sort of in between. Let's learn about some of the smallest and the largest of each. A blue whale is the biggest animal on earth. It's monstrous. It can be as heavy as 180 tons. That's bigger than a bus. And a blue whale's heart can be as heavy as a car. One of the smallest animals is the gold frog. Are you curious how small it is? 
A gold frog is not even a centimeter long. That's about the size of a fingernail. The next enormous animal can be found in Africa and at the circus. Did you guess it? Right, the fabulous African elephant. Elephants can stand as tall as 13 feet. That's taller than a basketball hoop. Have you ever heard of a slender blind snake? These reptiles are very skinny and only about 11 centimeters long and have very tiny eyes. They look and act more like a worm than a snake. They are not poisonous or dangerous. Have you ever heard of a tremendous bird called an ostrich? The ostrich is the biggest bird on earth. This bird is also famous for being very fast. An ostrich's wings help it to run even faster, but they do not help it fly. You learned about some of the biggest animals and some of the smallest. The earth is also full of many other animals in between, like the fabulous octopus or the whiskery walrus. What is your favorite animal? Closing reflection. Which aspect of fluency do you want to work on? Do you want to improve on reading smoothly with expression and meaning or at just the right speed? Keep up the great work practicing your fluency. I want you to tell me what books have you read this past week? Don't forget to read for at least 20 minutes every single day. Try to switch it up and try to read more books and maybe even books that are different from each other. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next time.